Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Harry Potter review, and today's it is on The Burrow from 2010, of course. So we'll start off with the two manuals here, as you see, have the two logos, and that border that we've seen for the 2010 and 11 waves, of course, and picture of the set that there is with the flaming ring, or fire ring around it, and, you know. Back to the first one is of the online survey, and then last step there. And then the second one of which on the back is the Ears 1 through 4 video game, and then out of Lego Club, and then all the features of it, and the pieces that come with the set, of course. And then the last building steps. Oops, hang on. So, first off, for the mini things. I was being from uh, left to right. As we which have Henry Potter himself. Of course, with his dark blue jacket on and whatnot, which also comes in like two or three other sets from this wave, of course. So, no need to mention that. But also, again, one of the only versions of Molly Weasley, well, at least until in her 2020 version, had the actual back skirt piece for that. But besides that, her torso print, leg print, all looks good with the apron and whatnot. And also, do you get the classic uh, hair piece, but in the different ginger color, of course. And then you get Arthur Weasley, also, also a quite good fig, and of course with gray bar piece for his wand, of course. And then Harry's future wife, uh, Ginny Weasley, of course, and well, all of which exclusive to them, but, but unfortunately don't get Ron and Fred and George, of course, but at least maybe that would have been a little too much for this set, but whatever. And then last, then get of what was probably the first appearance of Bellatrix Lestrange. Well, hairpiece which was new at that time and still kind of the same to this day, of course. And also torso print and legs print on the slope dress piece also done quite well. And and last of which, last of which is. Is Fenrir, of course. Well, for his face printing and everything, it looks great. It looks with plenty of fur detailing as well, and not at all the light printing, of course, but, but that's all right. And of course, both the witch with black bar pieces for the wands, obviously. And if you look on the back, you see these first, all of which have. Uh, back torso printing, but friend rear doesn't have an, that at all. So kinda odd for that time of which and as for the uh, double side of thing. Uh actually not all uh, some of which kinda do have double side faces of course. Face prints of which done quite well, but and besides that, also okay, but good selection of bigs for this one. First off for the builds is to get the smallish catapult piece just on the smallish uh, uh, 
on a little 2x4 plate there, and also to get red cylinders right there. And of course, like you see in most castle lines, you can put it in there and flick it off like so. And next up for the builds is just this smallish or smallish like area to it, which just representing kind of the grassy fields around it. Like, and of course, suiting to this whole sequence with these little cones with the flames on them, and of course, broad piece there, and a couple of blue uh, plate or tiles on it representing meaning that of uh, water. And, and of course, nice to get these bush pieces in tan, of course, and also a pair of jagged slope or gray jagged slopes representing a large boulder in it. And of course, like the other build from before, can load that up and fires like so. But at least the 2020 version did do much better with an actual firewall, of course. In the and next to which is kind of the separate, oh, it's a separate build, of which is the travel flu. Which, as you can see, on the top part of which does have this like printed or I mean stickered tile piece there are done quite goodly and also the whole build of which mostly just these long bricks and also not much going for it and we'll see what that does in a second and also rigid brick there and a pair of jagged slopes probably to attach it to the burrow itself or something but yeah but as for the main feature, which is, as you see, the flames there and the printed uh, board piece there, and you put a thing in there, and then as you pull it push on, and he travels right out with the green flame sticker pieces there. Oh, which good feature that is, unlike in the 2003 uh, Nocturne Alley set, kind of did as well. But at least it's a better version, but also one that really works. But Unlike the one in the 20, uh, 20, 2020 borough, which couldn't put a fig in like at all, so kind of a bummer. But if they do another version of this kind of build, I expect to have that. And last of which is the borough itself. Which, as I pan from bond to top, which, as you see, Kind of simplistic of a build for that, and sideways of which not at all any tilting action to it, like the 2020 version also did. Besides that, well, let's see for the exterior of it, or what there is for exterior. Do you get plenty of these pieces, and also some like green plates acting as grass to it, obviously, and also a pair of flowers in red and white there and also the little pig pen of course which you can open and close and also get one of the pig pieces here of course and also a little bit of asymmetry like with his window piece and this window piece, probably to act for symmetry in this corner of it, but yeah. And uh, we also get quite a lot of the uh, dark red jagged slopes. Both for here and also on here, and the build of it done quite well for that. And just look further above, and the top part that is supposed to be tilted, but not really. And of course, so you have a sticker uh, plate representing a random board there, and also good use of like all those like uh, ridge bricks there, both in regular brown and darkish brown, of course. And if further above, we get some more of that, of the uh, dark red tile, or I mean slopes there, of course, and also some blue windows, of course, and also those technic bits to it for that 
quite nice to get in red, of course, and you're wrong. So now you're all probably wondering, where is the other window piece of it? Well, since I got used off, BrickLink didn't come with that, but I can get it separate anyways from BrickLink, obviously, and yeah. And if you look from the back, which is all the interior space you get for that. Like, you get the some bit of table to it with the pair of chairs there, and also, uh, let me zoom in. It's a little kitchen area with those drawers and a sink and all. And also the clear clock piece. But at least with some, but Which I think is also stickered as well. And yeah. And also the table, which was, has a couple cherries and cup, pair of cups and the baguette. And also this nice design for the lanterns, of course. And then further above, do you get the, a traditional chest piece with a owl piece for Hedwig, of course. And and inside, you get a pair of socks and golden studs, or plates with with socks on them and gold studs, obviously. And also, do you get a pair of beds in there? Well, it's, which are sort of colors but opposite of each other. And then for the top room of which, which has another bed in the same designs and another great owl piece, of course. And also another uh, plate that is advertising uh, Harry on it, of course. Being of the Quibbler, obviously. And then, of course, you get a little cup with a cone piece on it. Probably represent as a lighter lantern, obviously. But also to mention is another one of those technic bits acting as another chimney bit of it. And also you get one of them like uh, car rear pieces, but in white, kind of, and of course acting as like a window cell for that. But good use of that, obviously. Yeah. Now on to the final verdict. So my overall verdict it was a quite fair good set for the time and an alright rendition of the housing building, but of course the 2020 version, which major improvement over it, but for this how this one turned out, I can kinda of forgive it. And also kinda of odd how there's no sign of the fire ring to it, but at least do get some bit of the like a uh, large grassy area around it, yeah. Also, would have been nice if it also included, like, the tent from Goblet of Fire or Deathly Hollows, of course. But maybe that would have been a little too much. Although it can be a set on its own, possibly. But for what we got here, which, uh, some good bits to it, but also, would have been nice if the travel flu was part of the build, but at least the 2020 version fixed that, of uh, course. And so now, if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who have it and still have access to this set, I'd say definitely pick it up. eBay, BrickLink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.